GTA Finals have now been announced. We have the groups, and the groups are crazy. Let's go have a look at who got to play, or who has to play who, in this group stage. So, as you can see, we have the Bacala group, and also the Chetamal group. And in the top group, we've got Sabalenka, Rabakina, Pagula, and Zachary. And in the bottom group, we've got Sviantek, Goff, Jabur, and Von Drusova. So, it is, I mean, look, it's a very tough group with Sabalenka, Rabakina, Pagula, and Zachary. I think Sviantek's the standout for her group, but let's go through it. So, Sabalenka, her matchups against the other three. She has beaten Rabakina four times, lost twice. She's beaten Pagula four times, lost once, and she's beaten Zachary six times and lost three. So she has a really good record against everybody else. So Sabalenka's gonna like her chances. Rabakina, her record against everybody else. Against Sabalenka, it's two wins, four losses. Against Pagula, it's one win, two losses. And against Zachary, it's one, one in that head-to-head. -head. With Pagula now, she has a one win, four loss record against Sabalenka. So not great. She's actually got a positive record against Rabakina. Two wins, one loss. And she's played nine times against Zachary. Has a four win, five loss record. So a negative record there. So Pagula's got a tough ask. And then Zachary against the rest of her group. Three wins, six losses against Sabalenka. She has a one, one against Rabakina. And against Pagula, it's five wins, four losses. So going off that, Sabalenka has a, a winning record over everybody in the group. She'll like her chances of getting through. Rabakina, it's going to be tough to play Sabalenka as it has been pretty much all year when have played, but she'll probably get through the other two if the conditions aren't too, super windy. Pagula's probably got the toughest ask because she hasn't got a good record against anybody in her group, except for Rabakina, but Rabakina I don't think they've played for over a year, so that'll be interesting. And uh, Zachary, she's the underdog. She has nothing to lose, so she might be able to come out here and surprise. Sabalenka, though, I think she gets through maybe with Rabakina, maybe. Now, the next group, you've got Sviantek, well and truly the favorite in this group, against Goff, eight wins, one loss against Jabur, four wins, two losses, and against Von Drusova, two wins, zero losses. So, positive record all round. Goff, her record, Sviantek, one win, eight losses. Against Jabur, it's three wins, two losses, and against Von Drusova, it's two wins, zero losses. So, she could lose against Sviantek, but beat the other two, and that'd be enough. Jabur, I feel like she's got the hardest matchups of all. So, she has a losing record against Sviantek, two wins, four losses. Against Goff, she's got two wins and three losses, and against Von Drusova, three wins and four losses. And most of those losses have come this year against Von Drusova. So Jabur, I think out of everybody in the entire tournament, has the a losing record against everybody else in her section. And then Von Drusova, the, probably the biggest underdog of this group. She has a 0-2 record against both Sviantek and Goff. And she has a winning record against Jabur. Four wins, three losses. So she might be able to beat Jabur, but she probably won't get through the other two. So going off that, you'd say Sviantek, Goff, get through. Maybe Sabalenka. I mean, Sabalenka in the other group but then it's probably a toss-up between the other three. Very interesting draw for the WTA Finals. I think the only sure things are maybe Sviantek and Sabalenka and maybe Goff if she has a, a couple of good matches. But the top group, Rabakina, Pagula, Sakri, they're going to fight for second spot. I don't know if Jabur is going to do much. I think Von Drusova might be happy to just... I mean, Von Drusova, Jabur is probably going to be a banger. Winner of that will probably not lose a match for the... Well, not will go there with a match win. The loser won't win a match, maybe, but we'll see. But let me know, who's going to win the WTA Finals? I'm going to go with... I'm going to stick with Sviantek. I think sviantek has got a good group. When she gets to the semi-finals, she might have to play Rabakina, but if she's lucky, maybe Sakri or Pagula take Rabakina's place, and she plays her, and then Sabalenka in the final, potentially. So I'm going to go with Sviantek uh, to take it out, but... Let me know. Who do you think is going to win the WTA Finals? There's the groups. Top group is stacked. The other group got some interesting matches as well.